Hi, I'm Matt Williamson with Yard Barker here to talk about a big playoff matchup. Los Angeles Rams going to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. And these division rivals, they split the regular season series, but the Seahawks won the NFC West and are riding a four-game winning streak into the playoffs. Uh, it's kind of – it's really been a, a tale of two halves of the season for Seattle's offense. The Seahawks are throwing the, the ball on first down much less frequently than they did to start the year. And their points scored per game has dropped quite a bit since the first half of the season. Defenses are also taking away the deep ball, something that we should fully expect from the Rams. Uh, the Los Angeles defense is really good in a lot of areas. But one of great importance this week is their great ability to take away the deep passing game. Um, they're exceptional in that area. Uh, but only Aaron Rodgers threw more touchdowns this year than Russell Wilson. But he faces an elite Rams pass defense this week. Uh, the Rams defense plays with few defenders in the box, and they dare their opponent to run the football. Uh, Jalen Ramsey is a superstar corner, corner and should spend most of his time on DK Metcalf. But Darius Williams on the other side is a far better corner than most might realize. Uh, getting Aaron Donald blocked is a brutal chore for every team, but the the Rams face every team that the Rams face, obviously. But Wilson does handle pass rush pressure extremely well. Still, just four offenses allow more sacks per game than Seattle. Uh, only T.J. Watt had more sacks than Donald this year, and only the Steelers average more sacks per game than Los Angeles. Uh, Seattle does have one of the NFL's best red zone offenses, but the Rams' defense allowed the fewest yards per play this year by a pretty wide margin. Uh, defensively, the, the Rams allowed a scoring drive on a league-low 28.7% of opponent drives and a touchdown on just 16.3%, also the lowest rate over the year. Um, the opposite of their offense, Seattle's defense is night and day better better in a good way during the second half of the regular season compared to the first. Uh, but Seattle was allowing their opponent to run the most plays in the league, so L.A. should probably get a lot of snaps off in this game. It uh, looks like Jared Goff has a decent chance to play, but we'll see. Uh, Los Angeles has gotten very conservative on offense, and rarely do they push the ball downfield, and a lot of that's because of golf. Uh, the, C the Seahawks blitz Jamal Adams a very high percentage of the time by safety standards, and he's really good at it. Um, Seattle's past offense, though, has been soft in coverage over the middle of the field and in short zones. Uh, look for the Rams to exploit this by forcing the Seahawks to keep heavier defensive personnel on the field, something they tend to do anyways, and attacking Adams and the Seahawks linebackers in coverage, crossing routes, screens, things like that. Um, the Rams have also been terrible this year on special teams. And while this has been a big strength for Seattle, I still like Los Angeles to pull off a mild upset here in a low-scoring tight game. I have the Rams winning 24-20. to 20. Thanks so much. I am Matt Williamson with Yard Barker.